Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, Aquaria? Now, if you resonate at all, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Share, comment, okay? Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, personal readings are also available. And you can find the join button for the channel membership on the face of this page. Just consider it, okay? If you are wanting to support me and the channel, that would be totally dope. And even if not, just showing up right here, clicking the like button for all readers that you really um, like, right? Because, you know, it shows that you really do like them and you really do support them. Every every reader or person that you follow on uh, YouTube, okay? Um, but yeah, hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, commenting, sharing, all of that is love. And I truly appreciate it all, okay, Aquarius? I really, really do. Let's get right into your message. There's something about equal reciprocity, okay, going on when it comes to your relationships. Spirit has given me the words, take it and receive it, okay? So something about that. Let's see. Take it and receive it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. For Aquarius, Holy Spirit, what do we get here? Unicorn. Okay, so it was in the reverse, this deck. But we do have uniform, unicorn, very, very auspicious energy here with the number 33. Wow, somebody may be 33 or someone is mastering something when it pertains to relationships. They may be mastering um, balancing out the light and the dark now. There's also an energy here where somebody may be your complete polar opposite. <laughs> it could literally be a twin, all right? <laughs> Somebody else here may be learning how to maintain balance within and outside of themselves and within themselves, all right? It says here success, hope, freedom, healing, magic. These are all available to you if you just believe. Yes. So there is a successful relationship partnership available to you at this time. There is love available to you at this time. If you just believe some of you, you have gone through some type of healing process. And again, you have monstered up courage. You have um, balanced and healed and um, literally stripped yourself from whatever was holding you back in the past. You've literally stripped yourself from that. There's like this purge that's happening here. And there's that magic and that light flows from inside of you outwardly. There's all this beautiful energy coming towards you. And I don't know, you may not feel that people see your newness or you may not feel that people can see your light, but they can, Aquarius, okay? Somebody sees that you have changed or vice versa. All right? Very, very awesome energy here. Oh, so we have date night. Yes. <laughs> so some of you, you may have gone on a date, okay? It says, get ready to wine and dine. Doggy, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that some of you, you don't, you may not see it for yourself or it's not that you don't feel it, but you, you may think that people see you in the same light, but there is a glow about you. It is. There's a glow about you. There's something special about you that is shining its light. And others can and will notice that you are being recognized. And Spirit is saying all of these different beautiful things, these different aspects of what you think or want love to be, it's all available for you. Get ready to be wined and get ready to be dined. So you may have a couple of options and you may be choosing one, okay? Or someone's choosing you, Aquarius, is what I see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else is going on here for Aquarius? What else is going on here for Aquarius? 
Holy Spirit, please. Regarding this particular message, what's going on for Aquarius here? I'm also getting the energy that you may have recently um, gotten out of a relationship, okay? Now, when I say recently, I just mean recent past. It could be, you know, this whole beginning portion of the year. It may have been last year, okay? But I do feel a tremendous amount of healing. I do feel that you feel hopeful, faithful. You feel this sense of freedom as well. And this person that you run into, it may be a magnetic thing, okay? Again, there, you may be polar opposites. You, This may be a twin. It, it definitely could be. Um, and that doesn't mean that they are your dark and you are the light. No, within the both of you, um, there's a magnetic attraction or a magnetic drawing together here, okay? And you both have a similar experience is what I'm getting. It could be a divorcee or it could be a widower. It could be um, someone who's been alone for a while. Or it's you. Let's see, Holy Spirit, pertaining to these, what's going on? I do feel the Spirit is asking you to get out of your, um, get out of, you know, get out. Get out and about. Holy Spirit, let me have a card, please, pertaining to this message. Oh, so this person may be well off. <sighs> yep, that's why they're, ooh, <laughs> another card flipped over here. We have a husband or a wife, okay? Somebody who is well off. So this person could have, again, they may be a divorcee, an older person, your age or older is what I would say. Um, I'm also getting the energy here that they are not cheap. Um, and I believe that they are single. So far, that's what I see. Holy Spirit, what else is here? Oh, we have love bombing. Why is ex-lover showing up over here on the date night? So I do feel that, yeah, you, like I said, you may have literally broken up with someone recently. Okay? I feel that you've moved on and... There's an energy here of someone new coming into your life who could be a husband or a wife, male or female, doesn't matter. These are not gender specific readings, but I do feel this energy of the ex lover is still, the ex lover is still in this, in the energy somehow, some way. Okay. So we do have UK, Africa, Jamaica, Latino. Okay. So they could be of a different um, race or ethnicity, which is no problem. Okay. Oh, boy. But somebody, this ex-lover um, was a serial liar. That's what somebody feels, is what I see. But this ex, um, this ex person, they know that you're a soulmate, and so does this new person that's at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to keep it right here. So the ex may have dated around a lot of different people, something like that. Doesn't matter. They're the ex. Okay. Somebody um, speaks a second language or they understand it enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice energy. Okay. So yeah, you may have options. There may be an ex person still in your in your energy here, Aquarius, okay, is what I feel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whip it good. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, the whip just means that um Spirit is saying put it over here. 
So this person, the new one, they may have a beautiful new car, okay? Now, I do feel Spirit is asking you to put yourself out there, Aquarius, for those of you who are single, okay? Um, don't let, you know, don't let past experiences hold you back, okay? Yeah, because that's what I'm getting. Spirit is literally trying to put you at the head of the table, head of the household, okay, with this, with this husband card or the wifey, all right? I feel that somebody is being love-bombed, but they're, they're nervous about being rejected, or I don't know, or maybe something about this ex, they're still in your energy, and you're rejecting them, or you are, the energy is contagious. It's, 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 it's lower vibrational energy. You want to make sure that you cleanse your space, cleanse yourself, okay? Also protect your energy. All right, because spirit is trying to, like I said, put you at the head of the table, take your rightful place as a husband or a wife. Somebody sees you as that. I'm getting that you make their head spin. Okay, I'm also getting that they're well off and simply put, they have a beautiful car. All right, and they like to, they like to, I don't know, they like to be seen with you. You know, this talks about harmony. This could be. This could definitely be an interracial relationship, but at the end of the day, this means that you guys are in tune with one another. Rather, it's interracial or not, there is a harmonious link between you and this person, just like I mentioned here, the blacks and the whites, right? The 13th note. There are 13 notes on a keyboard piano. There are five black keys and eight whites, all right? This is harmony, okay? Black and white. I love this. Let's see. No matter what color, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. It doesn't matter if we come from different um, backgrounds. It doesn't matter, okay? Somebody may be wanting to take this real quick, all right? They may be moving really quickly here, okay? And um, this rock bottom card is coming out inverted. So there's also an energy here that if it's like somebody is getting their bills paid, somebody is, it's almost as though this is your lucky charm and they're your vice versa. Yeah. This person, they may own their own business. They may own, I don't know, they may be in charge like a CEO of a branch, a branch of a company or something like that. Or their family owns a business or has had a business. I feel that someone comes from good stock. Yeah, somebody is like a, um, a retiree. So again, it may be someone who is older. Okay, there's, I mean, there's young retirees as well. Somebody may have made some really good business decisions in their life. Yeah, rock bottom is in the reverse, okay? So rather this is you or them. There is an energy here of somebody being love bombed. Now, I do see this rejected, and which I what I want to clarify. What does these cards really want to tell us, Holy Spirit? Clear and accurate messages, please. So someone is literally sending you messages, fast forward movement messages. Again, somebody's trying to, somebody's moving really quickly. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> somebody's super attracted to you. I feel the spirit has sent some love arrows your way, Aquarius, with this date night energy. I feel these love arrows are coming your way and there's almost like an instant attraction. Like I said, there's something about being whipped here. <laughs> okay. Someone just finds you to be there. Okay. This is it. I know what it is that I want. Okay. I have manifested this. This is what I want. Why do we have to wait for anything when I know what it is that I want? Could be the energy for somebody. Um, this is very passion, passionate energy, the wands. Okay. And it's somebody taking action, speaking their mind, sending lots of texts. Okay. Love bombing you literally. Okay. They get excited when they see you. 
All right. Yeah. They don't mind having conversations. And at the end of the day, there is this energy here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Someone literally is claiming you. Okay. They are crowning you. Or this could be Spirit God Source. This is the hand of God um, giving someone victory as well. Choosing them to be the head, like I mentioned. Okay. Now, this could also be, um, you know, somebody could be linking up when it comes to business and they're mixing business with pleasure here. Okay. Business and pleasure. The um, sword does talk about communication, important documents and signatures. It also talks about, you know, ID. Okay. So some of you may literally be getting ready to get married. You know what else I'm getting? Somebody may literally be making a business deal when it comes to marriage, like a green card, something like that. Somebody may be doing that, maybe at least one, two or three. OK, but the thing is, this is not like it's a um, I don't know if it sounds complicated, because at the end of the day, we do have harmonious energy here. There's a harmonious link. There's a link. Eight of wands is the link. OK, it's a vibration coming in. From the universe things moving really quickly and with the rock bottom in the reverse it doesn't seem like it's a bad deal okay now i do feel there's also an energy here of an ex who wants to communicate but i feel that they're being blocked i also feel the energy here that you have already cut this person off but they may still be in your energetic sphere okay they may be i don't know in your energetic sphere like i said okay yeah mm-hmm the fire pony. <laughs> okay. Now I, I, we will get more. Let's see. Ooh, yes. An instant attraction. Someone is really, really, really attracted to you Aquarius. Okay. And it's like, I have you now. I'm not letting you go. Okay. You can rest easy. I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of your bills. You can talk to me about whatever. Let's talk about it, okay? And I'm going to show you. Somebody wants to give you peace of mind here. Now, I do feel also this fire pony energy. Yeah. This? Yeah. You stop speaking to this person. Hermit. Two of Pentacles tells me you go back and forth with this person. Okay, maybe this was an on and off relationship or you go back and forth with this person. Okay, but they're they're in and they're out. All right. So like I said, you may be, I don't know, you may be cutting ties with this person. Yeah, nine of pentacles though, whoever the other person is, they're free. They're single. Mm-hmm. And they really make you happy. Sun card. Mm-hmm. And with the hangman, you may be saying, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Let's not move too fast now, okay? But I do feel the spirit wants you to see things from a different perspective. I feel like you're taking the rose-colored glasses off of um, regarding this other person. And you're literally seeing somebody for who they are, and they are seeing you for who and what you are in their life. You make them very, very happy. I feel that somebody wants to literally put you at the head of the table here, like I said, okay? Yeah, there's some type of web here because it looks as though somebody um, has two in their energy, at least two people in their energy here, okay? And it's not that anybody is really stuck on this old player here, but they are in the energy for some reason. I don't know why, okay? Yeah, I feel that spirit is saying just go with the flow, all right? Somebody doesn't want to get caught up too quick is also what I see. Somebody does not want to get caught up too quick. They want to have their freedom. Okay. So yeah, somebody may be expressing that. I feel that someone has a whole lot to offer you as well, Aquarius. All right. Um, Spirit is asking you to have discernment. Okay. Um, when it comes to, you know, how something or someone makes you feel. Even in regards to business, because I do feel this energy here that somebody is, um, this is about business for somebody, okay? Somebody is trying to um, make good business decisions, solid business decisions, decisions where they can make money in their sleep, okay? But yeah, something about tomorrow, 
Okay, you have tomorrow is here. Let's see. And then we have nights, okay? And last month, you may have met somebody new last month, or you may have cut off this person. Last month was the last time you spoke with them. But we have tomorrow and we have nights, okay? Somebody may send lots of messages at night. For others of you, you may be sleeping when these messages come in, but in the morning you see them and it, it, it brightens up your day or something like that. This is what I have. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, please take care and be well. Remember, you can have anything and all things available to you because Spirit God's source sets up.